All right, we are in the kitchen with Deanna Barrios Trevino, whipping up some enchiladas, and these are like a combination of all your favorite enchiladas in one. <laughs> kind of, sort of. I love That's it. exactly what it is. I was like, hmm, what should I make? <laughs> oh, this will be good. So what... I well, know you're using my favorite sauce, and okay. that really is all that matters to me. <laughs> That's Maybe right. we can stop the show now. Okay. No, no, no. You know what? Uh, I love I love the combining of the spinach, the chicken, and the poblano peppers. Okay. I love poblano peppers. Mm -hmm. And I love spinach, too. And I thought, well, let's throw some chicken in there, a couple of cheeses. So basically right now, I'm just, um, you know, cooking my onions a little bit, okay. getting them nice, nice and softened. And then some garlic. And then some garlic. And the garlic for just like a minute until it becomes fragrant. Okay. Okay. And this is the poblano pepper, and you've roasted it. Right. And I want to show people what it looks like, because it's real easy to undo the skin. You just Correct. roast it over hot, hot stuff. Right. And then it kind of like shreds off. Right. right. And you want to, you know, you put it in a paper bag after, after you, like, browned it, mm -hmm. or not browned it, just but like charred it. Mm -hmm. And then you put it in a paper bag for about 10 minutes. And then I always wear gloves, and you okay. just peel it right off. Oh, that smells okay? real good already. And so we, we have removed the seeds. There's a couple left. Oh, actually, we haven't removed the seeds. We can leave some in there. I yeah. like hot. I do, too. But you remove all the insides, and, and then you slice it up and make your little poblano uh, okay. slices, rajas, or you can dice it up or whatever. So that's what we have here. Okay. So what I've done is I've taken spinach, mm -hmm. and, you know, you just thaw it out and squeeze all the water off out of it, okay? Just like you do with other recipes. Okay. And so I, I also wear gloves when I'm doing that. I squeeze, squeeze it all squeeze, out squeeze, and, and squeeze. It's, it's easy to... You get, get spinach to, water. Okay, and so then we'll add the poblano peppers. Okay. And as much or as little as you want. I would have added all of that in Ooh, that it smells really good. Oh, it's just it's so fragrant. I and love it's it. Just, and you know, you can play around with it. Okay. So I have some shredded chicken. Okay. And this you, is going to go in our enchiladas too? We're going to put that in here. Okay. Usually, cup, that, that's good. Good. Uh, I brought extra because, you know. Because <laughs> we're real hungry here at San Antonio Living. Yeah, no, I tell you, there's already a whole tray of enchiladas rolled up. This is great because, you know, a lot of times we're eating cheese enchiladas, and that's great, but if you can hide a little spinach in there as well, that's I mean, right. you're, you're adding a little health. Uh, it's a healthy enchilada as far as I'm that's concerned. That's right. <laughs> now we have fun with it. <laughs> yes. So we have a little crema mexicana, okay. so we're going to add a little of that. Oh, wow. Yum. And then, which is, or you can add sour cream if you, uh, if you want. You okay. don't have to use a crema mexicana. Stir it up, and then you start adding both cheeses. And this is a little queso uh, fresco, which is the, the crumbly cheese. It, it's okay. not the one that melts. And you'll find it in the store. Uh, that's queso chihuahua, much okay. like a Monterey Jack. You'll find it in the store, the queso chihuahua, in a little round, like, tablet. And then you just crumble it okay. up. It's okay, it's like, it's Mexican feta. Kind that's of sort. what it is. <laughs> All right, a little salt and pepper little for you. A little salt and pepper okay. to taste. Right. And so then you just let this go a little bit. And um, I have a, this much made, but it's already rolled up. So right. I saved a little so you can roll what, some up. What is the trick to not breaking your corn tortillas? Right. Well, you absolutely cannot take a corn tortilla out of the package and try and roll it up. It okay. will crack. So you have to heat it up. You can uh, get a skillet like this, put a little bit of oil, heat it up, and mm -hmm. then dip them in and take them out. Okay. Or you can steam them. And by doing what you do there is you run the tortillas under cold, you know, regular tap water, uh -huh. and you put it on a nonstick skillet and steam it up. Okay. I mean, so and roll it up. We get our little guys. We fill it up. That's right. Is there a trick, or do you just roll? That's you're doing it, girl. That's it. That is. You have learned. I'm available for a shift on Sunday. <laughs> uh. You are on. <laughs> so that we'll is say our... Shelly's cooking. <laughs> the whole restaurant will be like there'll be a, a line out the door. You topped it with my favorite sauce. Correct. It's the, what do you call this that This is sauce? the creamy poblano sauce. Okay. But I also brought the verde sauce, which okay. is, and, and I also, Henry Secret Salsa, uh, you know, it's yours. Um, you, you, whatever sauce you want to top it off with, or if you don't even want to top it off with the sauce, you don't have to. Look at the finished product. Absolutely beautiful. Threw, delicious. Threw some more poblano oh, on top. Just it's gorgeous, it. Deanna. Thank you so much. You're Guys, welcome. you can find Deanna's delicious cooking, her family's cooking at their three restaurants. Los Barrios is on Blanco Road. They are open every day. Great patio. Check them out for lunch. Also, La Hacienda de Los Barrios out on Redland Road. A fabulous patio as well. Open every day. The website there lhdlb.com and the newest restaurant is Villas Ventanas out on Westover Hills Boulevard all of these restaurants open every day serving delicious food and of course more details online villasventanas.com